Okay, here's the deal. We know that we have been hearing some people saying that he this MP145 have changed since it was released back in August. So mine here is the very same one that you have saw, you know, where in my YouTube channel, which was reviewed by me in August 2023, okay, around that period of time. And Ben here, he is the owner of the newer version, which was December, right? Yeah, I bought mine in December. December 2023. And both of us are regular user of Hitis MP145. So for once and for all, how about we do this? Okay. Both of us will interchange these two MP145 with different kind of setting and try to emulate similar sort of you know configuration, the same type of cable, the same type of ear tip, and the same type of nozzle. And then after this, we will reveal to you if there's any difference at all between the early release or the one which is released later. So me and Ben have exchanged between the two of this MP145 for at around 20 minutes, yeah. 10 minutes each. Yeah. More or less. <laughs> and there are differences. Okay. So why don't you start Ben? How would you describe it? First of all, perhaps uh, let me just uh, clarify this. Ben was using his own cable, which is Kinera. Kinera Ace. Ace. Yeah. And with his tips, is this what tip is this? Uh, Dunu SNS. Dunu SNS. Yeah. And these two different MP145. Yeah. Okay. So meaning that what he have done is that he used the same tips, the same cable on both of them, and only interchange the nozzle and also the tips. Yeah. So the reason I use the Kinera Ace is um, my set is the with the original cables. I know people don't. Some people don't believe in cables changing sound and all that. But with my original cables, it sounded a bit flat. Um, with my original rose gold balance uh, nozzles, there was a bit of um, harshness in the treble. So I I could not get used to it. So in the end, I changed it to the silver nozzle. And I paired it with the Duno SNS, so now it sounds fine. It's warm. Uh, treble isn't sibilant, isn't too sharp or grainy anymore. And to me, it's perfect. And then I tried Andy's. So Andy's, when I tried Andy's set, his silver, okay, mine is mine is the titanium color thing. When I tried his set with my silver nozzles, my ears nearly exploded because it was too sharp. Um, Hold on, too sharp. Which nozzle is it? Was it silver? Silver. My silver nozzle. Okay. Your silver nozzle on my on your MP145. Yeah. So on his MP145 with a rose gold nozzle, same cables, Canera Ace, same tips. They sounded fine. They sounded like mine uh, with the silver nozzle. Do you know what I mean? So so basically my silver nozzle, which is the, the treble nozzle, matches his with the balance nozzle. Meaning that my set is a warmer set than his. Okay, let me just repeat what I'm hearing. Yeah. So your set is a warmer yeah. set yeah. compared with mine. Yes. Right. Interesting, yeah. right? Base is pretty similar. I, I can't really tell much difference in base. Maybe yours is slightly clearer. I can't really tell. Um, but the treble, big difference. So yeah. the main area that you feel that it changed is on the upper frequency. Yep. Okay. All right. Now that was Ben assessment on this based on his listening for 10 minutes, but he already can tell the difference. So how about for myself? And I would just simply say this. He is correct. I am hearing the same, the same thing. Let me just put it in the simplest term. Okay. On my own, he this MP145 here. I use the rose gold type of nozzle. Okay. And this is the kind of balance which I love because if I were to use the silver nozzle, the same one which is on uh, Ben's MP145, it will be too bright. Okay, It will be like AG sounding. The upper frequency offer kind of a bit too much of energy mm -hmm. and sparkle. And you want to know what? When I switch to Ben's MP145, I use the same nozzle, which is this rose gold nozzle on this one. This thing, be literally sounded like a warm sounding I am. <laughs> there's a dampening of the upper frequency yep. to a point that I think, you know, there's a loss of sparkle, there's a loss of energy there, there's a loss of micro detail and perhaps a bit of loss of extension. Yep. So in order to regain back 
that extension which I know of Hedis MP145, I switch back to this silver nozzle which was equipped already on Ben's MP145. Then I am hearing the kind of sound which I am familiar with. Hedis MP145 sound. So in simplest term, the conclusion is simple. Okay. The configuration, the tuning of MP145 did change after the release. Meaning that somewhere down the line, perhaps three months after the release, he did somehow retune it in a way that it reflect. It became something like a bit more dampened, safe tuning kind of thing. So it is less energetic and less vib vibrant. If you were to use this, you know, warm or denser, thicker nozzle. But in order to achieve the kind of sound which is MP145 is popular, known for then if you are using the later model of mp145 it is best to use similar like what ben did here which is the silver nozzle with the least dampening and also probably you need to play with the cable okay yeah this cable is kinara s there is there is one other thing <clears throat> i did notice that uh the cables might have changed um on the new set i just opened a new set about a few weeks back I think the cable is different from my own cable. My own cable, I can't find it anymore, unfortunately. Different in what way? In so the, the color, of course, is different. Uh, so mine is a titanium color. So my cable is also, I think, matches this. But the new cable is white. White color. Right. Yeah. Was yours white? Mine was silver color. Silver. So may maybe it was the same. I don't know. But it felt thinner. Thinner. Again, I, I, I really need to go and look through it again and see whether it's just my imagination. But... Um, <laughs> Otherwise, for me, I trust you, Ben. You are not imagining <laughs> things. That's one of the reasons I am skipping because you have yeah. good here. Yeah. He have a very cute way of listening and being able to tell the differences in nuances in sound. Yeah. Ben. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ben. I think this has been quite useful for everybody. Whatever it is, if you're playing about the MP145, go ahead. Um, play around with the nozzles. It still sounds fantastic. Yes. Okay. It still sounds fantastic. It, it might. It might. Maybe. Maybe my set is something's wrong with my set. Maybe, but. Um, no, I don't think there's anything wrong with yeah, your set. I, don't I think what, yeah. what, what we are hearing is that differences. Yeah. And yeah. just to clarify, okay, I'm kind of a bit disappointed that they changed the tuning without yeah. informing the audience, okay? Yeah. But the good thing is that it is still the same Hedis MP145. You yeah. just need to play with the nozzle. Yeah. You which means that, that if you hit the right nozzle, which is something which you consider as good, yeah. then that's what you want. Yeah, it's still a fantastic set, definitely.